Okay, today's video is about this type of rabbit. This rabbit is called a desert cottontail. And the words I want you to learn today are burrow, tolerant, vicinity, depression, interfere, approach, primary, flee, compensate, prodigious, reinforcement, constant, endangered, herbivore, and moisture. Now, please don't worry if you didn't catch those words because I will put them in the description of this video. These are common TOEFL words, but I don't expect you to catch them right away. I want you to listen to them in context and you can look up the definitions later. So here is the TOEFL listening section, which will hopefully improve your vocabulary and your listening skills at the same time. So the desert cottontail is a type of cottontail rabbit. Unlike the European rabbit, they do not form social burrow systems, but they are extremely tolerant of other individuals in their vicinity. Cottontails give birth in ver burrows that have been vacated by other mammals. They sometimes cool off and take refuge in scratched out shallow surfaces that are depressions that they make using their front paws to shovel out dirt. They are not usually active in the middle of the day, but can be observed foraging in the early morning and early evening. Cottontails are rarely found outside of their burrows looking for food on windy days because the wind interferes with their ability to hear approaching predators, their primary defense mechanism. These rabbits are preyed upon by every animal from snakes to coyotes to owls and unfortunately, most cottontails are killed within the first year of their lives. And that's because these rabbits have few defenses other than good eyesight, good hearing, and the ability to flee quickly. They compensate for these heavy losses by reproducing at a prodigious rate. Female cottontails can breed at three months of age and have multiple litters in a year. These reinforcements means there's a fairly constant supply of cottontails. They are not an endangered species. Cottontails are herbivores. They only eat plant matter. 90% of their diet is the grass, but they also eat shrubs, cacti, leaves, fruits, and seeds of other plants. They get most of their water from the plants they eat or from the moisture that forms on top of plants like dew. With that being said, I'm going to try and approach this cottontail slowly, but I expect him to flee because of course, these are prey animals, so they're always alert for predators. Try and get a little closer to this cottontail so we can get a better look. He's a little afraid of me, but he's assessing the situation. There he goes. Now they can flee very quickly and they go in a zigzag pattern in order to confuse their predators. This one will probably just hide in the shrubs. Oh, he's letting me get pretty close actually. And off he goes in a flash. And uh, that's their survival mechanism. Okay, thanks everyone. This is Kathy from House of Tofu bringing you another video about nature with some vocabulary. Check the uh, comment, uh, sorry, the description of the video for the vocabulary words. And please subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making more of these videos. Thank you and have a great day.